Pokemon Masters EX is a game that I haven't really talked about a lot on this channel. I mean, the battle system really isn't my favorite, and there was that weird name change. But hey, what I will say about Pokemon Masters EX is that it gives really great storylines to these characters, great dialogue, fantastic character interactions. I mean, one of the things I look forward to the most when I play Pokemon Masters is seeing the different interactions between these characters that we have never gotten to see before. But who cares about all that? In today's video, we are back again talking about fashion, which is another thing that Pokemon Masters EX actually does very successfully. This game has so many different looks and suits and outfits and different styles, and it is really fun seeing all these characters in different clothing that we have never seen them in before in different stylistic outfits for the season and for holidays. I just love it. It is so freaking fun. So of course, with it being spooky season and Halloween approaching, I wanted to go over very quickly all of the fall and Halloween based outfits for Pokemon Masters just for a fun, cute little spooky video today. If you love Pokemon Masters and are excited to talk about some fashion today, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button to see more fashion content from me because I go over a lot of gaming fashion here on the channel and I can't wait to do even more. So make sure that your Pori phone is charged and let's go ahead and dive right on into the wonderful world of fashion in Pokemon Masters. Halloween edition. <laughs> Oh, hey everybody! I know it's weird seeing each other face to face like this for a fashion video, but I decided to switch it up for this one just because it is not going to be as many looks as we are used to in these fashion videos. I thought that we would do something for today's fashion video that's a little bit more personal. You can see my in-moment, real-time reaction to these looks and see in what I genuinely think about them. You can see my facial twinges, you can see if my eye creases but it looks at a certain look if I think it's nasty. I just thought it would be fun to switch it up today because I've never done it in a fashion video before to have myself in it, so if you would like to in the future for fashion fashion videos like to maybe see me every now and then in them instead of just the normal one where I'm doing the voiceover, definitely let me know. But the spooky season can wait no longer. I need to talk about these looks here for Pokemon Masters because some of these are genuinely really fun and I can't wait to talk about them today. I'm going to be talking about both the regular looks and as well as the six star EX looks because I need to talk about both and be wrong to not talk about all the variations. I have all the looks right here on my phone so I can get up close and personal. I can do all my little zooms and everything that I need to be doing. And for y'all, I have a cute little photo right up here so you can take a look as well. Starting off with our first character, Hilbert. I love love this look actually. I think that for Mightyena being the partner, I love when the looks tie into the partner Pokemon, and a lot of these Halloween looks actually do have elements of their partner Pokemon in it, which is great. Honestly, I think one of my favorite parts about this outfit that I love so much is this like furry scarf that kind of goes down the back as well with the flared collar. I think that this scarf is phenomenal. It looks like Mightyena's fur. I think it is great. I love the ears on the fedora, all these touches to make it look like Mightyena, even down to the these little claw-toed shoes at the bottom. I'm obsessed with it. I think that this is a fantastic look. I think the shirt with the vest, I love this little like red necklace on it to kind of represent Mighty Anna's nose. I think that it's amazing. It's very, very well put together and it's very well done. Now y'all, this look is awesome. This EX form of this look, the all white and then changing the shirt to black and red, I mean, Chef's kiss. Truly, I have never seen something that is so chic, so fashionable in my life. Okay, that's a lie, but I, I really like it. Gilbert, you never look better. And also, I'm noticing in this photo that he's wearing gloves that have claws on them. He's wearing some of those, like, drag queen gloves that have the nail on the outside of the glove. Like, it looks incredible. Like, I'm, I'm very, very here for this moment. You get a slay from me, Hilbert. Moving on to a character who I never know how to pronounce her name correctly. I believe it's Acerola. I could be incorrect. I could very well likely be wrong, but that's what I think it is, so I'm gonna say Acerola. For Acerola's look, obviously, it is based on Mimikyu. I think that this look, again, very well done, very well conceptualized. I think that the hood is one of the most exciting parts of it. It's very, very cute. I want this hood myself. I think the little skirt with the Mimikyu detail is adorable. I love the bits of orange and purple everywhere, especially these like pantaloons kind of shorts she's got going on here. Love those. Think that that's amazing. And the shoes with the little like flared sock at the bottom, which is also giving a little bit of Mimikyu. I think that this look is great. I love the asymmetrical glove. Now for any of y'all who have ever seen any of my fashion videos before, you know that I love an asymmetrical moment. So this asymmetrical one glove on the one side, I'm here for it. As for the color variation, I mean y'all, this being based on shiny Mimikyu, where it essentially is just like all the color drained, that it's like grayscale and black and white, 
I think that this is very, very well done. And also it makes uh, Ace Rolla's hair pop out just a little bit more, so it's nice that it has like that one little touch of color with the purple hair. I think between the two of them, I definitely prefer the one with color for this one, but I mean, this look is still fantastic. We are four for four so far. All of these looks are absolutely incredible. Next up, we are talking about Caitlyn, and for this look for Caitlyn, I think that it is well done. It looks pretty good, it's pretty clean, I love the black and red coloring of course, but I'm not seeing a lot of ties to Sableye here, which is the Parker Pokemon that she gets in this look, and I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb, but I think the only thing that's really giving Sableye is this headpiece or clip that she's got on, where it has like the kind of gemstones for Sableye, it has like the kind of side things on Sableye's head. Other than that, I mean this pattern that's going on around the waist area is kind of giving Zygarde, a little bit like let me know if I'm crazy it definitely looks a little bit like Zygarde here I'm not seeing a lot of you know correlation going on or in Drag Race as they would call it for the makeover challenge I'm not seeing a lot of family resemblance if y'all have ever seen an episode of Drag Race where they do the makeovers y'all know those episodes the judging is always crazy I definitely think that my favorite thing about this outfit that I would have to say is this bottom section down here I love this like flared and jagged like pointy bottom I love the red stockings or is that a boot I can't really tell but whatever it is I love it girl other than that the look to me is just fine. She looks great. She looks great. I just wish there was a little bit more correlation with Sableye. Moving on to the color variation, we have a lot of pink and magenta going on here, kind of attributing back to Caitlyn's original look, and I think that this one is very well done. I think that this one is cute. I definitely like all the accessories on this one being like this bright shade of pink. I think between the two looks, I actually do prefer the black and red one, even though I wasn't too crazy about it. I think I definitely prefer it over the pink one. Next up, we have Morty's look, and Morty has always been one of my favorite gym leaders. I do really enjoy Morty a lot, so I was happy to see him get one of these Halloween designs. This look, honestly, I'm not too crazy about it. I think it definitely, there could be little tweaks here and there, but let me tell you what I like about it. I love the acknowledgement of the fact that Bayonet is his partner in the fact that there is this bottom element at the cape that kind of resembles the kind of like bit in the head of Mega Bayonet. Other than that, I'm not seeing a lot of similarities to Bayonet other than that, so it is kind of similar to Caitlyn in that way. But what else I enjoy about this look here is definitely the cape. The cape is amazing. I love the purples and the reds and the mixture of like the little bit of gold in there as well. I think the color scheming is really great. The cape's awesome. I love the flare collar. That's all amazing. I love the added touch that around his head, it's covering half his eye. I think that that is really, really cute. I love that they added that. But yeah, overall, I would say that this look is just pretty decent. Then we move on to the color swap version in our EX form. And y'all, I'm gonna be real for a second. I don't love this gray coloring. I really, really don't. Obviously, this adds a little bit more correlation between Morty and Baynet, with Baynet having the gray coloring, so there's a little bit more of a match there going on in this look, but honestly, I don't love the coloring and what they tried to do here. It's not my favorite. I think gray is a very hard color to work with sometimes because it can just come off as very bland when it's not really styled correctly or styled in an exciting way. It just can come off as very boring. I think that the features that I enjoy in this version of this outfit are the same that I enjoyed in the original, mostly because they kept very similar colors and a very similar thing kind of going on and didn't swap it to gray. I love the wrap around the head. I love the cape. I think the vest in the middle is great. It really is just the bits and pieces of gray. I think the sleeves to me I don't necessarily love. I definitely think I prefer the dark purple that was going on in the original version of this outfit other than this light gray and kind of like white attributes going on in this one. Moving on to one of my favorite ghost type specialist to ever exist. I love me some Alistair, so let's talk about Alistair's look. I think that Alistair is so freaking cute. Alistair took a page out of Acerola's book and took those shorts that she was wearing, and it is adorable. There is a definite match here going on with Gorgeist, obviously with the Pumpkaboo hat going on, and obviously the pumpkin face mask that Alistair has going on. I love that they swapped it to a pumpkin mask instead of the original mask that Alistair wore, just to kind of symbolize the new partnership with Gorgeist. 
Christ, I think that's amazing. This purple jacket with the white cuffs I think is really fun and stylish. And also, these little black boots, I'm sorry, they are so freaking adorable. Maybe I'm biased because I think the Alistair's design is adorable, but I just think that there are a lot of things to like about this outfit, and I think that it is very well matched to Gorgeist. Now, y'all, we need to talk about the color variation for this one because this is probably one of the best looks that we are going to get in the entire video. I freaking love this look so much. I love what they did here in just changing a lot of the oranges to purples and adding a lot more just color variation with the varying shades of purple. Having the reference to shiny Gorgeist and having a lot of the blacks and purples and I just love what they did here with keeping the mask a lighter tone so it still has some like lightness here and there and it's not all dark shades of purple. I also think that they managed to achieve this very well by having the light shade of purple be on the jacket in the center of the outfit and having a lot of the outer pieces of the outfit like the hat, the cuffs, the cape, the boots being a little bit of a darker shade of purple. This cape is amazing. I mean, the bottom of the cape kind of like layering of the different levels of purple. I mean, y'all, this, this look is freaking phenomenal. I wouldn't change a thing about this look. Alistair is out here slaying absolutely everybody. If Alistair walked into Pasio looking like this, I'd be like, I need to get a better costume. I need to go back to Spirit Halloween and get something that looks a little bit better because Alistair's out here blowing everybody out of the water. Next up is Iris in her Halloween outfit. Iris in this outfit is paired up with Naganadel, and I think that that is very clear to me, both the wings on the outfit, the color scheme, the little like bits of magenta and pink horns, and on the shoes, and the spiky bits everywhere. It's very, very obvious who she is paired with, and I could definitely guess it. I think that's kind of a judging critique and mechanism I'm using for all of these looks, is can I look at the look and know what Pokemon you're partnered with? I think that's definitely something I'm looking for. For this look, I will say it is on the simpler side. I mean, just the dress and the garment itself it's not too exciting to look at it is just kind of a dress with little features here and there it's very adorable it's very very cute I like this look a lot it is just a little bit more on the basic side in terms of the ones that we have seen so far that all being said her hair phenomenal her hair is shutting everybody down this hair is amazing I love the loops and the long parts and the horns like I, this is this is great this hair is awesome other favorite part of this outfit would definitely be the little Naganadel wings on the back but other than that I think this look is fine nothing else really stands out to me other than that but I do think that it is accessorized phenomenally. As for our color swap, again, there just really isn't that much to talk about here. They do change a lot of the colors. They add a bit of lighter purple here and there. They change some of the pinks to a white. So they definitely changed up the colors. There definitely is a visible, noticeable difference, but it still is just not enough for me to kind of say like, ooh, this is exciting to look at. You know what I mean? But still a very cute outfit. Next up is Phoebe, another one of my favorite ghost type specialists in the entire series. Very happy that Phoebe got some representation here in a good look. And I think that this one is pretty good. I mean, I like all the colors here. I love the blue and the yellow and the gold and the white. I mean, I'm a sucker for like blue and gold. I love that color combination so freaking much. So Phoebe is playing to my heartstrings right now. I can definitely tell the partner Pokemon that she is with is Cofagrigus because she has the little wrapped up wrist to show she is mummified. She has the little Yamask mask on the belt, all the gold everywhere. It's very obvious that she is definitely with Cofagrigus. I think that I like the sleeves a lot. I love the accessories for that. I love the gold neck piece. I love the gold anklet. I think that the accessories for this one really, really make it. The Yamask mask belt is definitely one of the best parts of the entire outfit. Again, it is nothing crazy to look at. It's not definitely one of the most insane looks I've ever seen, but I think that the accessories really do make this one. In terms of the color variation, we switch up a lot of the blue and gold and white into more of a kind of black, red, and tannish white kind of coloring. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not crazy about this color change. I don't love the fact that they kind of like change these darker colors into this like bright, kind of tan color for the dress. I don't think that that's kind of my favorite color swap. I also don't really like that they changed the bandage wrapping around the wrist to a blue color. I will say the one color swap on this that I do appreciate is the flowers on the hair. I think that them being this black and red coloring looks really, really great. Although I will say it doesn't really correlate with the outfit itself because there isn't really that much red on the outfit other than like little bits and pieces on the belt and on the anklet. So 
the black and red kind of just doesn't really mesh with all this like tan that's going on below. I don't know, I just feel it's not as clean as the first look, so I definitely prefer the original than the EX form. Moving right on along to Roxanne! We got Roxanne looking like a witch. She is going down the witch's road in this outfit. Agatha would be proud. And honestly, y'all, I mean, this look is cute. It's cute. I'm not getting Runarigas from this outfit. The only thing on this outfit that would give me Runarigas would potentially be the kind of like patterning that's going on on the tights. Other than that, I'm not getting Runarigas. Am I crazy? Like, is there some is there some detail in this outfit that I happen to be missing that I'm just like is not visible to my eye? I think the witch's hat is adorable. I think that the lace gloves and this like kind of torn up looking black dress is adorable. I think that it's a very cute look. It just isn't giving enough correlation with Runarigas for me to really see the partnership there. Overall, I mean, I think that the color scheme they got, this like black and magenta kind of vibe, love. Love the coloring, love the look itself. It just doesn't match the Pokemon. And then you move on to the color variation and it's like, uh, okay, well, this is also, it's very bright. It's very bright and cheery and I like the black lace and that that stuck around and that was one of the features that we kept to kind of keep it with the spooky Halloween vibes. But I don't know. I mean, this shading, it's a little bright for me for a Halloween look. I know it's, it's still very cute. It's still very adorable. I still like it a lot. I just think that it's a little bright for me. This look... Probably not my favorite, probably my least favorite so far. I didn't want to have to do it to you, Roxanne. I think that you're great. You're a great gym leader. I just, I don't love this look. You know, it's not giving the family resemblance that I'm looking for. Moving along to our final pair that we are talking about in today's video, the reason for the season. The reason that I made this video today because I saw these looks and I just needed to talk about them because they looked so freaking cool. We're going to talk about Chantal and Iono's new looks for Pokemon Masters for this most recent update. Starting off with Chantal, I mean immediately you can tell this is for Frostlass. Immediately this is a Frostlass based look. I don't have no doubts in my mind. I don't have no second thoughts. I knew immediately that this was for Frostlass and I love that about it. I mean this like white coloring with the light blue accents and then this dark red and black belt around the waist with the little gem in the center and it looks like Frostlass because Frostlass also has a red belt around the center. But, like icy features in the hair. Like is that an ice cube? It looks like she just took an ice cube and just like stuck it on the side of her head but I love it. I think that this look is phenomenal. It's really well done. Done, I immediately see the resemblance with Frostlass, and it just looks really freaking cute. This look is so adorable. I would wear this look. And then you get to the color variation, and it's like, okay, all right, Chantal is not letting anybody breathe. Like, take your foot off everybody's neck, Chantal. You gotta let everybody breathe. You need to give us a moment. You need to give us a second to get our acts together. I know that obviously the resemblance to Frostlass is not as much there in this outfit because obviously the color swapped, but I think that the color swap is still gorgeous looking. It still looks amazing. I love that they added these mostly darker tones to the entirety of the outfit, aside from these little bits of orange and purple here and there. I think that the orange makes these little accents pop a lot more in all this like dark fabric around it. The fact that they changed the waistband around the middle of the belt to white is, oh my, like it just ties everything together. Because with the whole outfit being dark and then the midsection kind of being tied together with a white belt, it gives you a nice little point for your eye to rest once you get there. These looks were masterfully created. These looks are amazing. Chantal is killing it. Moving on to Iono's look, I think that this one, again, is also very well done. I immediately see the reference to a Zhangxi, and I think that that is great. I love that they referenced an actual kind of, like, monster and creature. I think that that's awesome. Iono here is paired up with Fluttermane. I think for the color scheme of the outfit, there is matching with Fluttermane, but other than that, I don't see a lot of matching here with Fluttermane, other than the coloring. I will say, though, I do love the one thing that reminds me of Fluttermane on the outfit, it, which is this red pearl necklace around that Mistrevis and Fluttermane both have. I think that that looks great. I love that reference. Other than that, I mean, I do think that obviously with Iono's hair being like this light blue and pink, everything with this green and red and black, it is a little jarring. It is a lot of colors kind of all at once. It's a lot of color for the eye to look at. But I mean, just talking about the outfit itself, I'm not here to judge Iono's hair. Just judging on the outfit itself, I mean, look, another asymmetrical 
moment, we got another asymmetrical moment with these leggings. Gotta love it, not complaining. I think that the color scheme here is really phenomenal. I think that it is very well done. I love the references. I see the references that they're making here. It's not as correlated to Fluttermane as I would have liked, but I definitely enjoy it. And then you move on to the EX form, which I think is so good. I mean, maybe I'm just enjoying like the more Halloween-y kind of colors in terms of like the blacks, the purples, the oranges. I just really enjoy seeing these colors on these outfits because it immediately screams Halloween. I'm immediately in the vibe. I immediately get where we're going. I think having the fabric itself be black with the accents of purple and then the waistband. Again, they do a really good job of having the lighter colors around the waistband and the belt to kind of give your eye a nice place to land in the center of the outfit is very, very smart. It kind of ties everything together when you have something that is so brightly colored in the center because it draws attention there and especially if it looks good it's a good thing to draw attention to it also they changed the red beads on the necklace to a white and I think that that looks really nice especially given the fact that the whole outfit is black so again I think adding the little pops of lighter colors when the outfit itself is dark really is successful I would say that I definitely prefer this one over the original one but I think that both are very good I think that both this and Chantal's looks I I mean, very good pairing right here. Now for our final thoughts of the video, I would say that our strongest pairing today would definitely be Chantal and Iono. I think that both of them were very strong in their looks, and I think the weakest pairing today might have to be Phoebe and Roxanne, with unfortunately, I think Roxanne is doing a lot of the dragon down with that. But y'all, honestly, none of these looks were awful. None of these looks were ugly. None of these looks were atrocious. None of them were bad. It's just me being dramatic. I think a lot of these looks are very cute. I always love love the spooky season. I love a good Halloween look. And so I really enjoyed looking at these looks today and reviewing them. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below which look you enjoyed the most and also which look was your least favorite. Also let me know if you agree or disagree with any of the things that I felt about any of these looks today, but always remember that these are just my opinions of course and you could like whatever look that you like. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're enjoying the spooky season as much as I am because I love the fall so freaking much. Definitely one of my favorite times of the year, fall and winter. I always get so happy around these seasons. So I'm very happy to be making a lot more videos around this time of year because I know it's when I'm at my happiest. Okay, but real talk though, Chantal had easily the best look. That is not up for debate.